Good morning, fellow fig lovers. Lance here. And we have a few more figs ripening up. So let's tackle the first one. This time, the Alma. So here's the Alma fig tree. And this is its second year in ground. It did die back over the winter. So all of the growth you see here is from this year. And let me get up on this bed here. It looks like it's about seven foot. And last year, if I remember correctly, this had FMV pretty bad. And I don't think I'm seeing any signs of it. If it's there, it's very mild. The leaves uh, look fairly small. I'm not sure if that's really typical of the Alma. And I've actually been looking at different pictures online. I'm not sure if there are, I don't think there are different strains, but I sure do see a lot of different types of pictures on the leaves, on the fruit. So, yeah, I, I'm not really sure. So, I guess once I post this, I'm betting some folks are going to come back and uh, say, hey, that doesn't look like my Alma. Uh, did I mention this was a cutting from Mountain Fig, second year? And it has just grown back like gangbusters. This has probably been one of my, my most robust fig trees this year. And we have a ripe one. It's got some uh, honey coming out of the eye there. The ants are uh, definitely attracted to it now. That's nice and sticky there. That tastes good. Uh, sugar spots. Not quite as soft as I like, but the ants have found it. So let's, yeah, it took some effort to get that off of there. But there's uh, lots of honey there coming out. So let's take a closer look. So here we have a closer look at the Alma fig. It looks like the eye is fairly open, but it doesn't seem like the ants were really getting to it. Lots of syrup coming out of here, lots. Got some sugar spots, and I'm not sure if the video is picking up, but there's some very light striping along here, which seems very indicative of the Alma. Now, one of the, the pictures I saw of an Alma was uh, Thierry from Figs du Monde in Europe. His Alma was actually quite dark. So I'm not sure if that's from his growing environment or if maybe he just does not have the correct variety. This is actually a, a U.S. fig. It was developed by Texas uh, A&M University. And it's a cross between the Vernino, which is also known as the Allison, which is your typical Carica fig. But it was bred with Hama, which is 50% Palmata, which makes this fig 25% Palmata. Now up here on the neck, it's kind of interesting because half of this is neck and half of it's stem. So I don't know if that's uh, very typical or not. So I don't know whether to call that a neck or a stem. And that's actually kind of hard. So maybe that's neck. It looks, or excuse me, stem. That's pretty hard. So let's weigh this baby up. Thirty-four grams. Let's take a look at the interior. 
So it looks like we have an open eye. It's not real large, somewhat conical. I'm not sure if this is ideally ripe. It looks fairly ripe, but I suspect that this can get riper. The interior here looks fairly ripe, but not a lot of richness to it. I see a few seeds. They look pretty small. There's one there, pretty tiny. But uh, let's give this a try here. Well, that was fairly good. It didn't knock my socks off, but it is pretty good. Hardly any seed crunch at all. Those seeds are very tiny. And the pulp is probably a little, little thin. It probably could have richened up a little bit more on the tree for a while. It didn't have a whole lot of flavor in the pulp. But once I made my way to this outer edge and really got some chewing going, a cantaloupe flavor, flavor came out, which I enjoy. And I'm not sure if that's the melon that a lot of people refer to, maybe a honeydew, but I'm going to finish this off and see if I can maybe refine the flavor description a little bit. Well, it's good. I think it's probably just a little watered down. Mild sweetness. Again, practically zero seed crunch. The pulp had a little bit more flavor in it this time. But it didn't really stand out enough for me to narrow down the flavor. The bulk of the sweetness, the bulk of the flavor is really on the exterior a little bit chewy it's pretty good and it, it's similar to some of my other honey figs but it, it is a little bit different too i picked up a little bit more flavor in the pulp it was a little bit sweeter again practically zero seed crunch uh, but the bulk of the flavor seems to be more in the in the outer part of the fig. And it, it, it's a pleasant fig. It's refreshing. I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops over time, if I can let it hang a little bit longer. But it's definitely a good fig. And here in my environment, it grows like crazy. It overcame the FMV fairly well this year. It puts out a lot of figs. So th th this for now, it's a keeper. Even though it's similar to some of my other honey figs, it, it's somehow distinctive. And I can't quite put my finger on it. But uh, it's a good fig. I would recommend it. If you'd like to see other videos like this, Please subscribe down here. If you like us, let us know down over here. Always love feedback. Your experience, especially with the Alma. Thanks a bunch for watching. Be well.